Pinscher originated in Germany in the late 1800s. Herr Louis Doberman was a tax collector, night watchman, and dog catcher. He developed this breed to assist him in his work. The Doberman is medium-sized, agile, and athletic. He has heavy bone and muscle, so he looks imposing to accomplish his job. Docked tail and cropped ears add to his demeanor of a force to be reckoned with. To ensure good reach and drive, he's well angulated and looks poured into a smooth, tight skin. He is square and balanced, quick thinking and quick acting. All parts fit together to create one complete picture. The examples shown are different styles, but all quality animals. Remember to focus on areas of excellence in each dog, not faults. Begin by taking a long look from across the ring to assess the general outline of the dogs. Check to see if the dog is balanced and one piece. Do the parts flow or does your eye stop at one part? If so, it's out of balance. The depth of body should be equal to the length of leg. The back line is one piece from arch neck flowing into the well laid back shoulders, continuing in a straight line from the withers to the well filled out crew and ending with the tail just slightly above horizontal. The top line approaches level while moving. The dog should look proud, confident, noble, well angled, square, tight, and powerful. Walk down the line, looking at the front view. Head should be a long and dry blunt wedge. Note the alert, vigorous, energetic expression and the shape, color, and placement of the eyes. Confirm the width of the front. The standard says chest broad. Check for straight front legs with heavy bone, muscled and sinewy cat-like feet, and clearly defined rust markings. Walking up the line from the rear. Notice the rear muscling and parallel hocks. Neck should flow smoothly into the shoulders. Top view should look smooth, not lumpy and bumpy. Check the shoulders, rib spring, and hind quarters are the same width and the loin is muscular. Send them around to verify your first impressions. He should not lose his outline. He should have good reach and drive. The top line should be firm and almost level, the tail slightly above horizontal. His gait should appear effortless and efficient, yet powerful. Start each individual exam by assessing the outline from the side. Notice the balance of the silhouette the head and neck in proportion to the body. Length from forechest to rear projection of upper thigh should be equal to the height at the withers. The depth of body should be equal to the length of leg. The shoulder blade and upper arm are equal length and same with the lower and upper thighs. The front angle equals the rear angle. You wanna see a picture of balance. Approach the dog from a three quarter angle and look at the front view. Put your hands on the sides of the head to feel the smooth transition from skull to muzzle. There should be no gaps. It should be a continuous straight line. Now put your hand under the jaw and feel the strength of the under jaw. Lift the head and see the correct eye placement looking at you, not looking up at the sky. Is the head a blunt wedge and well filled under the eyes? The eyes should be almond shaped, moderately deep set and brown. The expression? alert and intelligent. The slight stop is a short step down between the eyes from the flat skull to the parallel muzzle. The muzzle and skull are of equal length. Examine the mouth. The American Kennel Club recommends that you ask the handler to show the mouth. Ideally, the incisors are wide and straight across. There are six upper and six lower incisors. Incisors do not present a hole if they're missing as they do with premolars. Then look at each side. This dog has perfect occlusion. The teeth mesh like pinking shears with no gaps. Count the premolars. Four upper and lower on each side. Ask the handler to open the mouth. Look at the back molars. Three on the bottom and two on the top of each side. 42 correctly placed teeth. Disqualifications include four or more missing teeth, overshot over one eighth of an inch, or undershot over three sixteenths of an inch. If the handler is unable to show the mouth, use the same procedure to do it yourself. Now go over the body. Use soft hands. This smooth coated breed needs very little touching to confirm what your eyes are seeing. 
This is a well-angled breed. Feel the correct 45 degree shoulder angle and 90 degree upper arm shoulder layback. Is the chest to the elbows? Is the depth of body equal to the length of leg? Is the loin short and wide? Is the dog well tucked up? Does the top line flow straight from the withers, which are slightly higher, to the well-filled out croup? Is the tail slightly above horizontal? The tail is not carried straight up. You may need to see the dog in a free stack to see the natural tail set. Step behind the dog when finished with the exam to double check how all of the pieces fit together. From the rear, hocks are parallel and perpendicular to the ground with good width between the hocks. Thighs are well muscled. Note the clear markings. From the rear, you can also see where the dog puts his front feet. A cow lick is perfectly acceptable. It's not addressed in our standard and many great dogs have cow licks. Send the dog down and back. Look for efficiency and conservation of energy. Straight legs moving toward the center as speed increases coming and going. Send the dog around to make sure what you saw and felt holds up while moving. The smooth one-piece dog has good reach and drive, strong level top line, tail slightly above horizontal, and head slightly forward. The free stack is where you check how the dog really looks. See how they stand unassisted. Check their temperament. Any signs of shyness is not acceptable. This dog appears square and balanced. Note the correct tail carriage and cat feet. This dog also has the correct tail carriage, bone, and substance. This dog is watching the camera operator. Alert and watchful, but at the same time loyal and obedient. The Doberman is elegant, alert, determined, fearless, obedient, reflecting great nobility and temperament. Never condone poor temperament. If a dog can't hold it together in the ring, they should not win. Hopefully, this video has given you a better understanding of how to interpret the standard when judging a Doberman Pinscher.